Hey guys, uh, it's Chris. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, Macbeth today. So, um, our story starts with a king named Duncan. Sup. And uh, things are going uh, pretty good in the kingdom, and um, everyone's happy. And um, there's this big battle. And um, enter Macbeth, who uh, is a noble, and virtuous, and gallant hero. Who uh, fights a victorious battle against rebel Scotsmen and um, Norwegians. So, um, yeah. He uh, wins this victory and then he uh, goes and talks to these three witches. Who tell him that he will be crowned Thane of, Ca Thane of Cawdor and um, he will become king. So, um,. He's a, he's, a, he's a little creeped out by this. I mean, they're kind of witches. So he uh, keeps on going, and um, he uh, meets up with the king, who tells him that uh, the Thane of Cawdor has been executed, and that he is the new Thane of Cawdor. Insert plot twist here. Now, Macbeth, not uh, being the brightest of guys, decides that he's going to send a letter to his wife. to inform them that of the prophecies told to him by three dancing women that him and his friends mysteriously visited by themselves. So, um, his wife, who is not really outraged by this, decides that they will kill the king and formulates a plan. One could say, a recipe? For murder. After Macbeth does kill the king, though, um, Donald Bane and Malcolm, the sons of the king, decide that they're going to leave, because they're pussies. So, um, Macbeth becomes the king. And, um, he starts feeling a little guilty, but his wife reassures him. And, uh, this is when we start to see Macbeth turn a little bit darker. You know, kind of like uh, go to Mexico for a few weeks, just just a tad darker. And um, then he starts to get a little paranoid. And uh, that's when he thinks of his friend Banquo, and um, who was there when they got the prophecies from the aforementioned dancing women. And he um, worries that. Banquo, his loyal friend, could spill the beans and has him murdered. However, this is not like the other murders. Macbeth is haunted by the ghost of his friend. And, um, he starts to go a little bit crazy. And, um, it's around at this point where, uh, things start to switch a little bit, and, um, we start to see the truly evil Macbeth. And, um, that's when Macbeth starts murdering women and children of Macduff. After having gone to the witches again, they who've told him to be wary of Macduff. And, um, he's also told that no man born of woman shall harm him, and that he has nothing to fear until Burnham Wood comes to Dunsinane, which is his castle. Um, Macduff, meanwhile, has fled to England, where um, he meets up with Malcolm and Ross, who informs him of the death of his family. Bummer, dude! Oh, I guess I'm just gonna go home, eat some chocolate, and watch some TiVo. They, they cancelled my TiVo? Not my TiVo? No! No! 
Not my TiVo! No! So, Macduff, enraged with his family's death, seeks out Macbeth, where an epic duel ensues. Lay on, Macduff, and be damned the first who cries, Hold! Enough! Hey dude, what you doing? I'm just uh doing any mm, what you say mm, that you only meant well well cause you did mm, what you say mm, that it's all for the best cause it is mm, what you say What you say? Mm, that you only. Mm, what you say? Mm, that you only meant well, well, cause you did. Mm, what you say? Mm, that it's all for the best, cause it is. Mm, what you say?